Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to still use PancakeSwap and dApps within Trust Wallet uh, on iOS after the most recent ban. Uh, now, we're going to be using like Safari or our web browser for this and our Trust Wallet, but I'll first quickly show you guys what's going on and what happened to Trust Wallet. If you guys notice, uh, if you head over to Trust Wallet and open it up, and then you head over to browser, it's not going to show you all the dApps anymore. And this is because they were forced to take it out of the application to meet Apple's guidelines. And I'll show you guys really quickly the post from Trust Wallet and just summarize it for you guys really quick. Uh, but right here we see a post on Trust Wallet's community website showing that the dApp browser removal on iOS version of Trust Wallet. And basically what happened is they're not allowed to add the dApps browser into Trust Wallet because it does not constitute the code of non embedded in the app binary. Uh, and they need to meet several criteria in order to be allowed on the iOS app store. Uh, so they're just not able to add the dApps browser in the iOS app store, unfortunately. But you don't have to worry. Your funds are safe. You can still transfer things out of Trust Wallet. It's not a big deal. Um, if you have Android, you're still good to go. Now, one thing I'd like to remind you guys as well is if you have like an extra Android phone or something laying around, you can put those 12 words into your Android device when you download Trust Wallet there. And that will give you access to the dApps again and all your coins. So if you guys remember those 12 words you made when you created your Trust Wallet, uh, wallet you can then go ahead and use those words and access your funds that way if you are available to do that. Um, otherwise, this is a workaround that you guys can use to access PancakeSwap and connect it with your Trust Wallet. So if you guys just head over to the link I have in the description, it'll be over to PancakeSwap's website. And basically on here, we'll be able to access the exchange from the web browser. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on connect at the top right corner. And then we're gonna have a bunch of options here. Instead of clicking Trust Wallet, you're gonna click Wallet Connect. And then once you click on Wallet Connect, it'll ask you what wallet you wanna connect. Now mine's automatically gonna connect because I tested this out myself. Uh, but after you guys click on Wallet Connect, it's gonna pop up another pop-up asking you what wallet. And you wanna go ahead and click on Trust Wallet at that point. It's then gonna open up Trust Wallet and ask you to confirm. You can go ahead and click on Yes. Unfortunately, I would show you guys exactly this process, but like I said, I've already tested it out, so it won't redo it. Um, but all you guys have to do is click on Wallet Connect, and then it will open up your Trust Wallet asking you to go ahead and click on Confirm or Yes. And then once you guys do that, you will see your wallet ID very similarly to how you did when you used the uh, dApps browser inside Trust Wallet. And then you'll be able to do everything that you need to do on here. Uh, it's connected to your wallet, so it's the same exact process that we've done every time we bought coins before. Uh, and then you can go ahead and buy and sell in here as well, just like before. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to connect your wallets with this new update from Trust Wallet. If this video does help you out, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.